and solve this um, inequality. And uh, yeah, this one has some distribution, so I need to focus on that first. And this first distribution, that's a phantom negative one right there. So I need to distribute that into the parentheses. So negative 1 groups of 7x would be negative 7x's. And negative 1 group of negative 6 would then make that positive 6. But there's also another distribution with this 4 over here, right? So 4 groups of 3x would be 12x's. And 4 groups of negative 4 would be negative 16. So the rest of this inequality, nothing changes with distribution. Or it shouldn't. So now that we have this, then we would look for combining any like terms, which there are some, negative 16 and negative 2, which is negative 18. So now that's fully simplified as far as we can with distribution and combining like terms. But now we got negative 7x plus 6 is less than or equal to 12x minus 18. Now we're going to solve this pretty much the same way we would a regular equation. And generally speaking, most of you guys like the x's on the left and the numbers on the right. So I'm going to apply principles of equality. I'm going to apply two at the same time, by the way. By getting rid of that plus 6, by subtracting 6 from both sides. And yeah, remember to focus on uh, keeping those like terms combined. And then we got uh, 12x on the wrong side, so I'm going to zero that out as well. So subtract 12x. So here's what happens. This positive 6 zeroes out, and same with the 12x right there, zeroes out. I got negative 7x minus 12x, which is negative 19x's. And again, that's the subtraction principle of equality used twice. So subtraction principle of equality or addition will not affect the way that the inequality faces. So we got negative 18 minus 6, which is negative 24. And then finally, to solve this one, we would divide both sides by negative 19. So then x, and yeah, because that's a negative, then we just divided both sides by, right, with the negative 19, that's going to flip this inequality. So now it's x is greater than or equal to, I'm going to write this as just 24 nineteenths. That's fully simplified. But how do you put a fraction on the graph? Easy. So easy. So again, in the middle... I'm going to put this 24 19 just like I have right here. And even though some of these fractions could be simplified, I'm not worried about that garbage right now. To the left would be, I would just say, 23 19 Isn't that, It seems like there's a Monsters, Inc. reference on that. But to the right would be 25 19 like this. So uh, at 24 19 was it 23 19? Okay, uh, that's a closed circle because it includes uh, 24 19 as a solution. And this one eats the X, so the line goes to the right. Done.